cute! Hi everyone! Today we are going to be making the most adorable little penguin. They're penguin lovers. Is that weird? Now this tutorial is super beginner friendly, so if you would like to make your own little adorable penguin, come join me and we'll do it step by step together. He turned out so good! Now, as some of you might know, I work as a librarian for my adult job, and I was shelving books one day when all of a sudden out of nowhere this idea hit me that I should make a penguin. But how am I going to make that? You just need to get some wool and felty needles and then you shape it into a penguin. And is that all I need? Pretty much. As far as supplies goes, you don't need a lot and it's a pretty inexpensive hobby. Okay, but where do I buy all of that? You can get everything off of Amazon, but local craft stores carry supplies too. So let's get some supplies and start making. Okay, fine. Let's go make it then. This will need some supplies, so... We need to go to the craft store. Okay, now supplies. If it's available to you, go and grab some needle felting supplies from your local independent store. But all of these are also available on Amazon and they have some really good beginner kits. And these are a few of the things that you'll need. So what do I do to start? So we're gonna make our cute little penguin friend. We're gonna get started with um, our white wool roving. So what I'm gonna do to start is I'm going to roll it into a very tight ball, as tight as I can anyways. And why do I need to have it in a tight ball? It'll save you a ton of time condensing the wool this way rather than with the needle. I'm gonna start with this size ball. And again, it's gonna condense as we um, do it with our needles. So I'm gonna have my single felted needle and so I don't stab myself over and over again. I'm gonna have my little finger gloves. So I'm just gonna start to, s ow. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna start to stab the wool over and over again. Hopefully not stabbing yourself like I just did. And what does stabbing the wool do? It kind of makes a whole bunch of knots in the wool to condense it into the shape that you want. And we are just going to stab this for what feels like an eternity. But repetitive motions can also be kind of meditative, that's what they say, right? So my ball of wool is not going to fall apart anymore, it's kind of got some knots in it. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to get my single needle and I'm also going to get my multi-needle tool here and just try to condense this into a circle to start. Ooh, but Finley just walked in, so let's have some puppy pats first. Now, my ball of wool is definitely more condensed now, but I do want my penguin to have more of like a rounder, fatter bottom. So all I'm going to do is get a little bit more wool and just add it onto the bottom and shape it the way I'd like it to be. Okay, that took forever, at least it felt like it. It was really only, uh, 20 minutes or so but anyways so I've liked the shape so far I'm looking at my original penguin and they're about the same shape um, I actually kind of like this one more I think this one might turn out kind of in a unique way now what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go and decide what color I want my penguin I could do it this light color this dark color I feel like this one well but this one might be cute no okay I'm gonna do this one do I want it this color I don't think I do I feel like it's too light there's not enough contrast oh my gosh okay maybe we're gonna do this one yeah that's too light okay so uh, okay I'm doing this one then so just go in with your single needle and start to felt it down. It's kind of like, like a little bonnet or something in a way. So I've put most of the dark wool down now, but what I'm gonna have to do is fill in some of the blank spots. He's kind of like a balding penguin right now. So I'll just get a little bit more wool to do that. But as I'm doing that, I'm also going to start to make this front part of the face here. So for our little face, we're going to bring this darker color down here. And the same thing, we're gonna get our dark wool and just kind of glue it down. The 
This penguin looks like it's got some like crazy hair. It reminds me of like that French like Marie Antoinette hair or something like that. Okay, so this part right here doesn't really matter too much because we will be putting the beak in. So it doesn't have to be super um, like neat and everything. So I'm just gonna kind of push these pieces in and trim it off. Snip. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the shape and how my little penguin is turning out, but we're going to go on to two separate pieces next. So we are going to go and create these little flippers. Are they called flippers? I don't know. Pants. Um, we're gonna go create those separately. They're going to be two separate pieces and if you do have a foam mat or something to felt on, it's significantly easier. So we're going to make two of these separately and then we're going to attach them onto the main body. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to place my wool down on my needle felting block and then as you do this, it's going to condense the wool. Okay, now as you can see, it's gotten quite flat. It's also stuck right now to the um, styrofoam, but if I pull it off, that's fine, but you will see there's some of like some fuzzies here that's fine too we can just cut them off afterwards but we do want to make sure that these um, flippers are thick enough now this is quite thin right now so I'm just gonna add a little bit more um, I was gonna say fur but a little bit more wool okay now I have added some thickness to it and this will be quite good. Now what I'm gonna do though is I am going to get these little um, scissors and I'm just going to trim it so it's got a neat edge and it's not so fuzzy. Okay so this is good for now and this part here is what we're gonna use to glue the little flipper down. See you can see he's starting to come together and he's adorable. I feel like his name might be Frank. I don't know, I'm gonna have to think about it. Anyways, so now here comes the hard part, is you're going to have to make a second flipper, but it has to be relatively the same size. I mean, maybe not, maybe it could be some sort of like Finding Nemo type of flipper, um, but we can make it and try to guesstimate and then trim it down with the scissors. So let's go do our second flipper. Once we've made our two flippers, we are going to attach them to the body, and this is super easy. We're just going to use that extra bit of wool we left at the top and felt that down. So it's kind of gonna be the glue part. So we'll do one side and then we'll do the other, kind of matching it and making it even. And then we'll do that until both of those flippers are secure. Okay, so we have attached the little flipper arms now and we need to make some feet. So I'm going to do essentially the same thing that I did for the flippers. I'm just going to get a little bit of my wool and stab it onto the felting mat and I'm gonna do that two times. Okay, so I have finished both feet and I think what I'm gonna do is instead of angling them out forward I'm actually going to angle them out to the side a little bit I think that might look a little bit cuter So I'm liking the look of my penguin and his feet, how that turned out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create that beak and then we'll do the eyes as the last step. 
Now I'm just going to take this tiny little bit of roving, you don't need a lot, and we're going to do the same thing kind of that we've done with the flippers and the feet, and we're just going to um, needle felt it down on here and then start to shape it down into a beak-like thing, just like our example here. So it's just going to be quite a small little beak, so let's get to it. Okay, so I've got enough of the beak here that I think will be good, but I will go and trim it down with my scissors just to get the proper shape. Okay, so I like the way my beak is. It's just super small, but that's all we're going to need. So when we go and felt this down, it's just a little bit. It actually might even be a bit long at this point, but we'll see what it looks like. And if it's too long, then we'll just trim it down with the scissors at the tip. So let's go and get our needle and do that. And how I'm going to attach this beak is I'm going to go around the edges of it and just bring that yellow wool roving into the main part of the body. Okay, so that beak is now in there pretty well, and I think it's looking pretty good, but I am going to shape it a little bit um, because it's, I kind of want it a teeny bit more pointy, but I'll just do just the littlest bit to get that shape that I want. Okay, now I really like how he's turning out. So now we are going to move on to the eyes. Now there are two ways you can go and um, create your eyes for your needle felting creations. There are these little balls that you can go and add in for the eyes. I don't have the right sizes right now. I just have these massive ones and I mean to each their own, but I don't really want to use these ones right now. So I'm just going to get the teensiest bit of black roving and I'm just going to add it in where the eyeballs are. Now you really don't need a lot of this stuff. You're only going to need just a little bit. Start with a little bit and then if you want more, you can add in more. But I think to start, less is more. So just get a little bit and get your needle and then we're just going to push that right where you want your eyeball to be. There's one eye done, and then we're going to do the other. Okay, now my penguin is almost finished. What I'm going to do now is he's got a little bit of some fuzz around him, so I'm going to go in with my little um, snip snippers, my scissors, and just kind of trim everything up and make sure all the colors are really neat. It's a really good last little step. And once you've trimmed him up, you are done your penguin. And we're done. Pretty awesome, eh? Yeah, totally. Now I loved doing this project, it was a lot of fun, but I think one thing I would do differently next time would be getting the um, roving and kind of making it smaller at first. I always tend to make things bigger. So just kind of starting with smaller chunks of wool and bundling those up and just, if I need extra, just adding extra in later on. But besides that, I really enjoyed making this project and I hope that it inspires you to make your own little penguin and it brings you as much joy as these little guys bring me because I mean, they're so cute. Now I know I mentioned I was going to name this penguin Frank, but I'm not quite sure anymore. So what do you think? What is this little guy or girl? look like to you? Margaret? Frank? I have no idea. What does it look like to you? Now if you've made it this far in the video, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I appreciate you. But until next time, happy making and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Oh my gosh, you turned out so good! I love you guys!